And there's the swans over there. Hello, good morning, Indian. Are you there? Hello, replay viewers. I'm just to, uh, just trying to, just coming down for feed the birds. I was hoping I could just get a little bit of sunset. Just caught a little bit of it. There we go. A little bit of it over there. Get the sunset over there. bit of sunset, some nice clouds, some weird flat, you get all this in the UK, all weird clouds. I see the swans down there, hello Tilly. Last bit of sunset, I've just caught the last bit of it. <laughs> just come here as quick as I could, I've just been travelling. Just been travelling, that's all I've got for you. Let's go feed the swans. Yeah. I've just travelled from, uh, I've just been travelling from another town and uh, it was a lovely, just coming back and it was, uh, it was just like a, an egg yolk in the sky. And I thought, what should be gone by the time I get back to the park where I scope it? Yeah, just that last little bit there, that's all I've got for you there. <laughs> Looks like something's on fire in the distance. I just come for feed the birds, but the, the sun has just come out. It's been dull all day, it's been dry. I'm just recovering from my three hour walk this morning. Let me make it to the big walk for about three hours today. Let's just go feed the swans. Just end the day with feeding the swans. I can't guarantee you'll have a nice sunset, but. You just lose it behind the trees now. I just merely come for feed the swans where I'll be. Only got a little bit of daylight left. There we are. Who's that? Hello Jay Opera. Hello Stoney. Tilly's in Mally. <laughs> keep calling you Tilly. Yeah, Melanie. I've got Tilly in my head, that's the problem. I keep seeing your handle, so I keep saying. It's because your your handle's different. <laughs> Yeah, check out my replays, I haven't even seen the quality yet. There are a few uh, scopes around. I did a few little nature walks this morning, showed you some historical things around Burston Town. Hope it's come out okay. Yeah. We've got some nice sky over there. Some weird sky, you get all this in the UK, all this wild sky, look at it. Look at all this funky cloud. Look at all these strange colours as the sun's setting. Yeah, it's setting over there. Yeah. Anyway, a few more weeks. Did you, did you hear about Periscope? Oh, what? What have I missed? Have I heard about it? That sounds ominous. Yeah, let's feed the swan. Let's try and get them over. Come over this way, where the sun is. Let's try and get them. Come over here, where the sun is. Try and get you some swans. Oh, the sun's setting. There they come. Come on, come on, swans. Periscope's waiting. Come on. Come on, we haven't got much daylight. Could be closed, you know, that's not good. <laughs> Just try and build my channel up. <laughs> I heard about TikTok in some places in America, I think. I say I'll just probably, well, I can always go on YouTube anyway. I'm trying to, I'm going to start. When I've got enough followers who want to, who will follow me, when I've got enough followers on YouTube, I can live stream on YouTube. So it is a better way to go, YouTube anyway. But obviously if I just live streamed on YouTube, I don't think anybody would come on. So if all me regulars, make sure you follow me on YouTube, forward slash Jason Who. And I'll start doing a few. Uh, I'll start doing a few broadcasts on YouTube if you want to, because I can do HD and I've got a lot of data spare anyway. So 
I just need to keep, if you contact me on Twitter and, and give me let, let me know if you follow me on YouTube because obviously I don't know what me I can see my followers on Periscope but not on the uh, not on YouTube. I don't know who's following so if that's the fact. So I can always go on YouTube anyway. I can live stream on YouTube. Okay, I think the swans were hungry. Now they're all coming over to me. Let's see if we've got a bit more sun. Let's have a look what we've got over there. That's all I've got for you today. That's all I've got, a little bit of funky sky there. I usually have a lovely sunset here, but I've just, just missed it. Another few weeks, it'll start getting lighter again. Is it 21st of December? All the swans have come say hello. Oh, where? Uh, what's it in? Where's it gone? Hello, Mark. Welcome to the scope. Just an extra scope. I've already done a few. This is my third scope today. I thought I'd just uh, just try and feed the swans before the sun goes down. This is my local park. This has just got a little bit of sunset for you. That's all I've got today. <laughs> It's a little bit over there. So it's a lovely peaceful place, but the problem is it's next to like a child's playground, so it's a... Yeah. I think nobody's been feeding them today, cranky. Yeah. Hello Tina, thanks for the hearts, thanks for the... Uh, make sure you're sharing it out to get some more people in. I say, I see, I've just noticed I've got over 800 followers, but I never seem to get many live viewers. I don't know if that's a, an algorithm thing, unless I've got to wait till I, I get one of these uh, bron bronze uh, badges or something. If Mark can give me some tips. It says 800 uh, followers and never seem to get many people live. I don't know if there's a secret to it. Cracky, they are hungry. <laughs> yeah. It gives me an excuse to get me exercise without periscope. I don't think I do as much. Uh, I don't think I do as much exercise. It's just it motivates me to get some exercise done, and then you can you can join me while I'm on the exercise. Just be glad when it's gone a bit light tonight. So I usually try and do some try and run errands in the daytime, and then uh, I'd like to have time to show you the birds. See, but, uh, the sun's just setting now. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Can I help you? It's in the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I know you do a lot of sunsets, don't you? Yeah. I don't say to do sunsets. I do. I say I try and try and capture them where I can. You can never rely on them in England anyway. It's uh, it's few and far between when you get a nice sunset. I've got a few on my scopes. I've had a few nice ones. But at least with England, you get all these wild colour, all, all these wild cloud formations. Yeah, I mean, I registered from the first day, but uh, I didn't keep periscoping. I think the novelty wore off at first. I did a few scopes at first, and then because uh, they weren't being saved, I think I just lost interest. I did do a few a few scopes in the first place. But I've just been doing them every day since uh, since this year. I started doing a lot of exercise and thought, oh, I could periscope it, try periscoping. I've just got a, I thought I wouldn't still be doing it. I've just been enjoying it. It's uh, interactive with other people around the world. And then obviously it's a funny time to start periscoping because there's loads of things I want to show you and they're all closed. So uh, it's obviously at the moment, there's lots of canal walks and bird feeding and nature walks and uh, there's a lot of places I'd like to pay to go in to show you museums and uh, things of interest. It will change obviously when lockdown's finished. We, obviously when we've got more freedom I will show you a lot more things. Hopefully I'll just take making the most of the, the local nature or the local wildlife. Thanks for the hearts everybody. No. No, <laughs> yeah. Go over there. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I might try that. Yeah, just like 
preempt here, yeah, just say I'm going to do a broadcast here. Yeah. Because it's so crazy, like I said, I, mean, I think the most I've ever had on is about 10 people, I think. And uh, obviously, I just look at some of the other, you know, the, the people who've done it for years, you know. And again, thousands of viewers. I'll say, I don't know what I can do apart from just keep broadcasting. Hope it gets better, you know. I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong. I did speak to that Mike Tends to Travel a few months ago, and he said improve your uh, improve your uh, your bio, which I did, because it wasn't really telling people what I, I did, so I don't know if that's helping. Oh, emergency vehicle. There we go. Thanks for the heart, everybody. I think if I get hashtag winter, is a snowman going up? I think it's a hashtag winter, I think. Yeah, I've got all the swans to myself today. <laughs> last bit of the sunlight, anyway, we're just enjoying the last bit of daylight. Feeding the birds. Yeah, keep looking at the sky. Yeah, the lights have come on now. There we go. A little bit of funky sky over there. Oh. Yeah, I don't think anybody's been feeding them today. They didn't see them hungry. Chilly now, I'll just finish off with a bit of food I've got. Just finish off this bit of food I've got, it's getting quite cold now. Yeah, it's been one of them funny days, it's been uh, the sun's been out and uh, still quite cold and chilly. But, uh, I'll try and get a daily scoping because I've got all the data available anyway, so I'll try and find you something to scope. I'm part of a walking group now anyway, so I'm trying to find some new, new routes. New routes to show you around the area, other greenways and uh, places I'm not aware of. I did a nice walk today, all around Burslem, showing me the history in Burslem, the statue of Henry Dalton, because I come from the potteries, where all the ceramics come from. And we've got lots of places that used to be coal mines that have been made into like places to visit, and uh, like uh, greenways, you know, and places to walk and cycle and jog. Right, I think I'm just losing the light now. What? Hello, who's that? What? Hello, what? Indian. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to do a pre-post on Twitter, I'll have to try that. Yeah, we'll go now, we're losing the light now, so. We'll just see, we'll go around this side, see if we can see all the Canada geese. That's all the swans that way, let's go around this way. Yeah, the sky's still setting. Looks a lot brighter on my phone than it does in reality. It's just got uh, to usually have some nice sunsets over here. There we go. That's what's left of it, a little bit of orange there. It's trying to rain. Got a few little spots on my screen. So there's lots of places I can get a nice sunset. This is just my local park. It used to be a coal mine. This is Central Forest Park. See they've got street they've got lights come on. We've got like a skate park. They have lights come on for that, but they haven't got lights to walk around the lake. That'd be nice if they had the uh, they had lights to come around the lake. So you could come round in the, when, it, when it's dusk. Yeah, but it's got a dark clouds coming over now. It's got a nice child's playground. Nice big area there. I'll just show you while there's nobody here. It's got a big child's playground, an escape park. I said that basically there's a. There's a the Queen opened this in about 19, uh, about 40 years ago, 45 years ago, I think. Uh, where I started, you just saw this white, this white thing, uh, this white tablet. That signifies when the the Queen come and open it. I was just going to show you the ducks down here, the ducks, the, uh, the kind of geese I think they've realised, think somebody's going to get fed over there. They're all marching where we've just been. Yeah, see the sky is still a little bit of colour. I'll just go over here and then show you the sky again. Let's see if the 
Yeah, all the car. I was going to show you, they've got loads of car and geese, there's hundreds of them, but they're all on the water now, so. Don't think you'll see them on the water's edge. I don't think Mark's still doing that, that days of water thing, aren't you, Mark? I'll have to. I forgot, I thought that was finished with, because you said 100 days of water. I don't know if you, I saw, I saw you were doing a few extra ones. Yeah, these are two of the, the sort of waste tips from the coal mine. There's these two big hills you can uh, climb up if you feel fit enough. It's amazing when you look at your, your phone screen towards in reality. Look at it over there. It's like a big black cloud there. And then it's blue over there. It's clear over there. Look at that. It's a wild, uh, wild weather today. Yeah, it's just trying to rain now. So uh, I think we'll leave the scope there. I think now, folks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you follow me on Jasonho forward slash YouTube. I put lots of content on there, and uh, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you follow me on YouTube, and then I'll. I want to try and work out how many people are following me on YouTube and then I'll, uh, I'll try to do a few test scopes on uh, YouTube because I can live stream on it on YouTube in HD so uh, I've just done it a few times and obviously I want you to be aware that I do that so I can get some, uh, some of my Periscope followers to come on. Because I keep forgetting about YouTube. I'm not used to streaming on here. I've got YouTube, but obviously you want to find things that are worth uh, some nice weather and uh, things worth scoping. I can always, if I have a sunny day, I'll do. If I remember, I have a sunny day, I'll do a. I'll try a few YouTube streams. And see, how, see how that works. Because obviously there's different ways of getting funded. I know Action Kid does it in New York. He uh, he does a lot of live streams while he walks around. Uh, he walks around New York, doesn't he? Live streams everything. I might, after they say it goes dark and goes dark about 4 p.m. today in the UK. And obviously, if you see me pop up a bit later, I might if I see a house with a lot of uh, a lot of Christmas decorations on. I might film it. How bright! Oh, look at that sky! How weird! It's orange over there. It's still light over there. <laughs> It's crazy. British skies are amazing, the, the variety you get. I'll just walk back to the exit and see if I can show you a bit more. Back to the exit. It's starting to get a bit cold now. Gonna have a warm soup. Yeah, once it rains, it really makes it cold. Oh, look at that sky, it's crazy, look. Crazy sky. Right, let's see if I've missed any comments. Let's check for comments. Christmas decorations, yeah, because uh, if I see any houses, you know, with a lot of uh, Christmas lights on. Can't believe it's light sky over there. It is, uh, it's all over the place. I thought that would be the end of it. At about what time are we on now? Yeah, quarter past four. I know sometimes you get more light if you more down south than the Midlands. This is a uh, this is quarter past four in the northwest of England. Still got daylight. Still got a little bit of a sunset over there. You call it sunset. It's obviously already gone now. That's a nice, nice image. I have to start doing this from a vehicle, so I'm nice and cosy while I'm doing it. I'll try and park my car if it gets any colder. Uh, Let's just check for comments. What am I feeding them? Yeah, I've got the right stuff. I don't give them bread. I've got the proper duck and swan food. It's like pallets that float on the water. You can buy it. It's just called duck and swan food. And uh, you're not supposed to give them bread. I give them the right stuff. And then I sometimes feed squirrels. I always have some squirrel nuts and uh, bird food, depending where I go. Yeah, it's just getting quite dark now. Let's uh, I'll keep trying to show you the sky for a few more minutes. I'll cut across this grass, depending if it's not too muddy. Get a bit, have some lovely views of the sky for me, it's great. Well, I say I've done over 300 scopes now. If you go back, I've got most of them are interested. Visiting about 20 different places in my 
in my area of the northwest of England. I go like Stafford and Congleton and Stone and Crew, and there's uh, lots of different places. Yeah, that's a good shot there, isn't it? Tolo? Good shot for sky over here. I've got a lovely some. If you look on my YouTube, I've got some lovely, some lovely shots of the sky where it's all different colours, orange and red. So this wasn't a planned scope. I was just on my way home from a busy, a busy day scoping. I thought I'd just catch this, this strange sky. Catch it. I think Derby and uh, she calls this afterglow lady who follows me in uh, Cal uh, in uh, Colorado, where she's just obviously got a ball of light and then it just sets. I've got all these weird cloud patterns. Got the sun over there, and it's it's sort of trying to rain over this side. So it's crazy. British weather. You just get used to it. <laughs> yeah, I mean all the light, all those lights come on. I just wish there was lights all the way around the. Uh, there was lights all the way around, so you could enjoy the uh, walking round. What potteries are still open? Um, I say Wedgwood's just hanging on in there, Wedgwood. Royal Dalton's gone. Wedgwood's gone. Wade's gone. There's, lo there's hundreds of companies years ago. There's a thing I showed you in my local museum where there's like a, a thing on the wall. I'll have to take a photo of it and it shows you that there was hundreds of pottery companies, you know, hundreds years ago. There was hundreds. But obviously it depends which ones you've heard of. You know, there's Wedgwood and Royal Dalton and Beswick and Wade. I think that's gone. Royal, Royal Albert is... Royal Derby, Royal Crown Derby, there's, there's loads. If you looked them up, I bet there's hundreds and hundreds. And obviously around here, I'll have to look how many there is. I'll, I'll do some research how many there is. I'd like to go to the Wedgwood Factory, but I don't think it's open at the moment. They do two, as you can go to the Wedgwood Factory. And we've got a Gladstone Pottery Museum. I'd like to go there. Lots of interesting things. But obviously we're in strange times at the moment, but uh, I'll do my best trying to show you something every day. Oh, right, I'll have to look that up, Afterglow. Yeah. I like some Genesis and Phil Collins, yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Still got some nice sky for you. Yeah, I remember standing in the, in the, sun, in the summer a bit warmer than this, and uh, I said, it's just a few more weeks, 21st of December, it'll start getting lighter then, and we'll all start getting more, more daylight for scoping. Right, I'll call it a day, folks. Thanks for watching, uh, everybody. Uh, make sure you follow me on YouTube. Let me know on Twitter if you're following me. I'll get a bit of an idea how many people are following me. I'll do some YouTube live streams. And if you'd like to support the channel, I'm on buymeacoffee.com forward slash Jace the Who. But uh, it just helps to keep the channel going with all the costs involved of uh, everything. It keeps me, keeps me, I mean, keeps me warm with all these, uh, all this cold winter weather. I say I'll have to go have a coffee now anyway myself, I think. But uh, I've still got some more data at the moment, so uh, I haven't got unlimited data forever, but I'm just making the most of it at the moment. See if I can... Uh, I think I've settled on the good network I want to uh, stay with. I think I'll stay with EE, seems a good network. I'll keep trying try and show you daily scopes. So, but I've been out since uh, 10 o'clock this morning. I've had a long day today. I've been, uh, been walking for three hours. And I thought I'll get back for feed the birds. And hopefully, I didn't know there'd be a sunset. It was just feeding the birds. And it just seems to come out at uh, sunset time. The sky improves. Got all these crazy afterglow things. Yeah, I'll have to look that one up. Right, right. I can feel my scoping hands getting numb now, so I'll call it a day now, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Tilly, and everybody else. I'll see you on the next one. Hello, Turner 3. I'm just going now. Enjoy the replay. It's just getting too cold now. Oh, it's freezing. Just watch the replay. Make sure you watch the replay, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for the pleasure of your time.